Nick, retreat! Found the alarm! We're all dead! Retreat! Retreat! No, never not in this life! You fool! It is ten to one against us. We shall all die. Damn your numbers and damn you! I'm staring out your birds are up! Yay! Uh, okay, stop, stop. Uh, for the hundredth time, I want to cheer louder. The audience won't be able to hear you. Again, I'm staring out your birds are up! Yay! I don't even know why we bother rehearsing anymore. Again, I'm staring out your birds are up! Yay! All right, let's run it. You fool. It is ten to one against us. We shall all die. Damn your numbers and damn you. I'm staring out your birds are up. Yay. Paul. Paul, who goes there? It's a coach. What? In the camp? Look, Tiz Rock Sam. Yay. She brings supplies. Bread and wine. And chicken. Zero, no, you fool. That's the Comte de Guiche you insulted. Quit trying to be the three musketeers in one. What would you have me do, huh? Stick for patronage of some great man, and like a creeping vine on a tall tree, crawl upward where I cannot stand alone? No, thank you. Oh my god, I've seen more talent at a dark show. <laughs> Dedicated to the other two poems to pawnbrokers, be a buffoon in the, in the vile hopes of teasing out a smile on some cold face. face. Eat a toad for breakfast every morning. Where out my dad is groveling with his up. No, I thank you, and again I thank you, no. But to sing, to laugh, to dream, to walk in my own way and be alone, free with an eye to see things as they are. Grandma, to travel any road under the sun. Grandma, without a fame or fortune. Grandma! Oh, Rosalind, dear, what a surprise. You're getting more beautiful every day. You look adorable. Thanks, so do you. What? I said, so do you. You look great. I cannot hear a word you're saying. Grandma, can I get you your hearing aid? No, thank you, dear. I'm not in the mood for a glass of lemonade. Oh, I do miss you terribly. It's not the same thing without you. I miss you, too. Hey, how's the tour going? Do you like Uncle Love? No, I don't. It stinks. If it wasn't named after an animal, it'd have nothing going for it. I don't mind so much myself, really, but it's quite a come down for your mother. She played Broadway in the 40s, you know. And then your father dragged her down to his level. Grandma! Revivals of old tired plays, B-movies. You should have heard him doing Cyrano just now at the rehearsal. The man's a walking ham, and they should stick gloves in him and stuff him with pineapple. Grandma! <laughs> Listen, I have a surprise for you. Stop getting married! Oh, Rosalind, how wonderful! I always knew that you and Paul were made for each other. It's not Paul. The boy has trunk. Grandma! It's not Paul! Paul and I broke up! It isn't Paul. No! Well, that's a mistake. You could do all the bathroom couples on stage together. Grandma, I'm not an actress anymore. I'm in advertising. Yes, I know, and it's revolting. Don't you remember the talk we had a drink with? No. Listen, this is your life, and mother's and dad's, and that is great. I am so proud of you. But I grew up with this. I want something that doesn't drive me completely insane all the time. Does that make any sense? Rosalind, dear, can I tell you something short? I haven't heard a single word you said. <laughs> Grandma, can I please get you your hearing aid? All right, fine, one glass. Now listen <laughs> to me, young lady. The theater may be dying. The glamorous invalid may be crawling through the desert with quite a single lung in its feeble chest. And it's all we've got. It's our lifeline to humanity. Without it, we'd all be Republicans. <laughs>